Okay, here are the potatoes. I just cultivated them and I uh, took the middle uh, blade out of the cultivator, just ran over the potatoes, and that's how they look. And it's an easy way to weed. However, it's getting ready to rain, so a lot of these weeds aren't going to dry out, they're just going to reroot. Anyhow, so over here, this is the sweet potatoes, and I did the same kind of way of weeding them. I took the middle buster out, I mean the middle thing out, and you put the middle thing back in when you're ready to plant something, which I also did. So these are the sweet potatoes, and these are the eggplants. You can barely even see them. They're real hard to get started in the cold weather. They take their time. And these are the peppers. And these are corbachis and purple jalapenos and that's it. And at the end of the row, I planted peanuts in the shell. When you plant a peanut, you do not want to take the little paper coating off the individual nut because peanuts are delicate and they'll fall apart if you do that. You want to leave that little shell on there. But it's even easier if you've got the laziness in you that I've got. It's even easier if you just leave the whole thing together and plant the whole peanut in there. And it'll actually soften up and come right out. And I plant them about a foot apart, the whole peanut, all the way down the row. And she waters them in, and I cover them up. And here are Ukrainian watermelons. And if you want a really good, and they're just getting started, we just planted them just now. If you really want a good seed company, it's a Ukrainian seed company in eBay, and it's called Nikorinsky or something like that. You'll find it. Ukraine Seed Company, Nikorinsky. They are the cheapest, and I've noticed that a lot of the seeds they have are the same seeds that Rare Seeds sells for a lot more money. It tells the same story that they tell. Except they say they've gone all the way to Russia to pick them up. And they charge three times more for less seeds. Anyway, um, that is all I've got to say.